Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Planet Coaster. So the classic rides collection has been released a few days ago and to celebrate that pack we are going to be using one of the brand new rides and creating a kind of mini series here in Planet Coaster. And um, We haven't got any, anything on the channel at the moment that's Planet Coaster as uh, World Discovery is taking a little bit of a break. Um, so this is going to fill that little gap whilst we um, have the Park Tech series running alongside. So this is going to be a a, a, I don't know, maybe a 10 part series, I'm not really sure yet, depends how big we make this ride. The plan is to make a boat ride that is indoor and outdoor themed dark ride using the brand new um, boat. So let's have a look at the boat ride first, um, it classes as a track ride I believe, um, and it is uh, this one, the Armada. So this is the ride that we are going to be using. And it looks like this. So it's the first time I've played with it. It's the first time I've used it other than putting down the uh, blueprint. So the track sections, we have all this sort of stuff. We have lift hills, and we have wide sections. Um, what else do we have here? Yeah, there's so different wide sections and stuff. So it generally is your sort of Pirates of the Caribbean, it's a small world type boat ride. And that's what we're going to build, and that's what we're going to do in this mini Planet Coaster series. So, um, yeah, let's jump into a time lapse, eh? Right, so the first bit of this video today is obviously putting in the actual ride circuit itself. Now, the, this could change. Um, what you're seeing here is just a sort of basic layout and I'm trying to plot out the different scenes as I go through so it's taking very much heavy inspiration from Pirates of the Caribbean this I'm not gonna lie it's heavy inspiration um, more specifically the version at Disneyland Paris as that's the one I know um, probably the best as the one I've done the most in recent years um, so yeah I'm kind of basing it on that um, the general idea is the first scene of the ride is going to be outdoors. Uh, it's going to be like a little pirate village. Um, then you're going to go up a lift hill, which will then take you into the show building. And you'll remain inside the show building uh, until you basically return back to the station. Um, and the station will also be indoors. That's the plan. So the, this section you're looking at right here where the water is, is pretty much on, the only bit of this ride that's going to be outdoors. Um, at least in my initial plan anyway. Um, and that's what we put in in this first episode is the entirety, or, or almost the entirety of the outdoor scene. Um, this scene at the end here, that I'm putting this other little bit of water. Uh, oh, sorry, not yet. We do put a bit more water at the end, sorry. Um, that's going to be a sort of pirate battle scene which sort of ends the ride so you'll see another little lake that I've put into sort of, sort of to the back of the footage and um, that's what that's for uh, but like I say in terms of the uh, this first scene it's going to be a little pirate shanty town village type thing couple of rough animatronics in here nothing too spectacular and um, this whole scene is basically just going to set the tone of the rest of the ride um, so again that inspiration is heavily coming from Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland Paris um, the start of the ride um, goes through a fake outdoor scene um, in reality it is just in the show building and it also is part of the uh, Captain Jack's restaurant as well uh, which I think is very similar to how the one in California starts um, as well, so, so it's it like a themed as if it's outdoors, and it goes into like a cave, you've got like a cave scene, up the lift hill, and so on and so forth. So this is very similar to that, um, however we're taking out that, that cave section, and we are going to go straight into the lift hill um, after the outdoor area. Um, then the top section before the first drop is going to be a mysterious cave and cavern. Um, quite uh, dark theme, dark lighting and, and something going to be amiss. Uh, down the drop into, I'm thinking again, some kind of like pirate town, but this one's a bit more bustling, a bit more uh, a bit more going on. And then that'll take us through into the ride, I say into the big battle scene at the end. Uh, and that's sort of the plan. I mean, there's not going to be a direct story based, not, not really like a... 
like a, I'm not going to do like a told story. There's no audio or anything other than music and sound effects, so we're not going to do like a narration. Um, but that is the the kind of story we line we're going for with this. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for this ride. So think of it as a pirate ride that's not in Disney. <laughs> so like there used to be a version of one of these uh, at Drayton Manor in the UK. Um, a kind of you can tell they've took inspiration from uh, pardon me from Pirates of the Caribbean, but it's not. You wouldn't call it a Pirates of the Caribbean ride. That's what this is. Um, I think Europa Park also um, had a version of this. I think it was the one that actually uh, set fire uh, last year and they're currently in the stages of rebuilding it. Um, so that is what we're going for. It's a pirate boat adventure um, inspired by Disney um, and that's what we're doing. I really like using the pirate theme in, in the game um, and I've never done a strictly pirate themed ride before. Um, I've done a sort of tropical jungle cruise style attraction uh, a few years back that was similar to this in in its kind of aesthetic uh, but it didn't use the pirate theme so this is the first time we're ever really using the pirate stuff in a dark ride um, and I'm quite looking forward to using some of it there's, it's quite a flushed out set there's a lot of animatronics there's a lot of effects and there's a lot of bits of scenery um, and using that and the rock work and the jail cells and, with all the other stuff in the game, I think we can make this really immersive and, and, and spend a lot of time on the indoor sections. And that's the plan. That is where we're going with it. Um, so like, like I've mentioned, this is this scene outdoor is setting up the, the rest of the ride. So this is you sort of... Uh, and it probably takes about, I don't know, a minute or two to get through the scene. And there's little hints at things out here, like we've got the, uh, the pirate treasure. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, how professional you are. Oh, it's been a long day. So we've got the pirate treasure. Um, in this hull of this boat, we've got um, some drowned uh, shipmates and a couple of skeletons and stuff like that. So again, it already gets you thinking um, that something's a little bit amiss in this adventure uh, before you even get inside the show building. Like I said, it's setting up that scene uh, and that is what we are going for with it. Um, so yeah, various bits and pieces of theming going in. Um, I do a little bit of lighting as well. Um, and we also put in a few effects. Um, when I say effects, I mean the um, the little f uh, fireflies, which I've never used before. But I think they work quite well with this. Again, taking inspiration from the first scene of Pirates of the Caribbean in Disneyland Paris. Um, it has these little, I think they're like little lights on a stick or, or on like a... a a bendy pole that are kind of blowing in the, in the breeze and it gives a really good effect of fireflies around the edge of the ride um, and yeah so I thought well let's do that we've got a firefly firefly effect God, that's not easy to say is it um, so we might as well stick it in there and see how it looks and it works out quite well I um, it's a bit funky with the water reflection um, it, it kind of makes it a little bit dodge um, I mean, the water in this game's always been a bit weird with lighting, uh, as you can just see from this. Now it's always been very black, um, so it's something which we just got to work with. Um, I think when we do a full POV of it, it, it should look a bit better. But man, I'm, I'm fine with it. It works quite well. So we're using a couple of these little fireflies, um, making them orange, just so I think the green was a little bit too garish. Uh, I think we put some of the larger ones in just near the boat as well. Um, that you sort of go through, uh, and I think they work really, really nice actually. Um, towards the end of the video, I've put some real-time footage um, of the scene in in the day and night, so you can just sort of see how they look moving through. Uh, and yeah, it works. It works quite well. It gives some depth to the scene, which I think is quite nice. Um, so yeah, might as well use them. They're there. Might as well use them. Um, a full foliage pass, loads of palm trees, tropical plants and that kind of stuff um, to suit this uh, this theme. Again, it's my favourite type of plant in the game um, and I think it works really well. It's really nice in this kind of environment and also utilizing in the rock work. And there's still obviously a lot of work to do with the rock work uh, as most of the show building is probably going to be covered in rocks. Um, uh, whether that's with terrain or the actual rock pieces, uh, we'll get to that as we get along. Um, 
but yeah, mainly the show building will be will be kind of covered up. Um, I think we'll also utilise some kind of buildings as well into the facade, um, so it doesn't look just like a big slab of rock. Cause that'll be boring. So we'll we'll factor in something in there as well. Um, so that's all work in progress. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably aiming for I don't know five to ten episodes of this series potentially. Um, but we'll see how we get on. See how long it takes us. Um, we'll try and do a a scene per episode, I think. And then there'll be obviously a big full POV um, at the end, once we get all the music and all that kind of stuff done. Um, but yeah, moving forward, that is the plan really with this. Um, so um, let me know your, your comments, your suggestions, anything like that. If you've got any ideas of different things we can put in, um, there will be a few uh, sort of days between each recording of these episodes um, so I can take on your feedback. Um, let me know what you think to my rough guide of the sort of layout of the ride and, and the scenes that I've just spoke about. Uh, if you think we should move them around or anything we can improve or any sp uh, sort of specific ideas that you think we can put in this that would be really nice. Um, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions and I'll always take them on board. Right, so that is about it for the, well, is it for the time lapse footage? Um, I'll leave you now with a few slow mo, well, real time shots looking around the ride and seeing what we've done today so thank you guys ever so much for watching if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like down below subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of the content if uh, you fancy a chat jump onto twitter or discord links are down below and if you want to help us out you can do that by going to our patreon page um, as mentioned all the links are down below at the bottom so i'll see you in a few days for the next episode but for now guys thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you next time cheers guys bye